Welcome back everyone to Battlestar Galactica Deadlock, Ghost Fleet Offensive, the second DLC of Season 2, released on the 25th of February 2020. Here in the Ghost Fleet Offensive, I'm going to partake in Mission 9 out of 10 missions. Let's hear from our command team to see what this mission entails. Tell has finished decoding the traffic we pulled from the comms array. Nothing in there except for transfers from two weeks ago, which is no good to us now. However, the SIGINT thinks they found a Cylon Command mustering point based on some of the routing metadata. With luck, we'll find at least one of the ILs at the coordinates. Take out one of the heads, and we can start talking about sending people home. Mr. Singh, are these coordinates correct? This is quite a way inside of Sector 19. I raised the question, but SIGINT is certain. It's a long jump for sure. Sir? Ghost Fleet is already overextended. The Cylons are well aware that we're out here now, and they're reinforcing what positions they have left. If we strike too far in, we risk the already tiny chance of making it back to the colonies. I concur with the Praetor. She has the experience in these matters. While I'm happy to see that you two can be in the same room without getting into a fist fight, our orders still stand. Admiral Sarkis sent us out here for results. You go back without them, and you will be tried as a traitor. There's nothing I can do about that. Unlike Sarkis, or Ministry, or any of them back home, I understand our position out here. It's not my job to make you feel good about it. I don't have some pithy us versus them story to sell you. I'm just trying to get the work done so innocent people stop dying, and you can all go home. We're finished here. You all know what to do. Commander. Have the fleet ready for combat jump in 15 minutes. I your command. Okay then, so mission 9 retaliation, Cylon territory. The ghost fleet is at it again. I'm going to go in there and hit some Battlestar Heavy this time. Um, I expect there to be quite a bit of a scrap. So as you can see, I've got Battle Stars and I've got Minotaurs. I'm not going with any of the new ships. I'm not going with the Colonial Orion. I'm not going with the Defender. I don't think I'm going to need them. I think this is going to be a good old-fashioned scrap. Fleet group is jumping in three, two, I really do. One. Um, either way, that's how we're going to play it. We're jumping in. Let's get the jumping updates from our talkative Jump command crew. Drave. What the frick? There's no one here. Check your jump coordinates, Lieutenant. I swear, if you have fracked our jump... I watched his input, sir. We're at the right location. They knew we were coming. So? What do we do now? So the Cylons knew that we were coming. Let's have a breakdown. Jupiter class. One, two... Artemis classes. We've got two Minotaurs and a Defender. So I have indeed gone with the Defender this time. I wasn't going to. I decided I was going to. Um, time to launch Vipers. Get them out into the open. Turn to the side and to the angle. I expect the Cylons to show up at any time. There he is. So that you fully understand this futility. You linger here, abdicating your responsibilities while we raise your homes. The great Toron plane is burning. Volunteer firefighters have been unable to stop the raging fires. Helena? Your moral weakness falls within expected probability parameters. Everything is connected. Your future remains predictable. It will be as God wants it to be. Sir, I'm not detecting any launches from the base star. It's just acting as a relay. I don't think Atropos or anyone else is actually on there. Mouthpiece or not, destroy the base star. You have your orders, Commander. So there you are. Atropos has... Uh, Atropos. Atropos. Atropos has turned up. The big bad Cylons turned up. You got Sam Agathon running interference, it would seem. And we're going to trolley on with all our fighters and raptors towards that Cylon base there. And we're going to give it a damn good pasting. Straight off the bat, because we've got the firepower. Perhaps not, you know, too many missiles. We could then with perhaps some more missile boats. But with this map and the amount of dust and brown dust and asteroid dust around, it. it's going to destroy those missiles anyway. So, 
guns might be better. So you've got the guns from the Battle Stars and the Artemis Battle Stars, and you've got the two honking great big guns from the Minotaur. Plus, you've got the flak from the Defender to augment the flak from the Battle Stars, and you've got their tech crew as well, which I'm finding is quite a useful ship, the Colonial Defender. I'm quite surprised. Like the other ships we've had in the other DLC, um, things like Greatest the Hydra, Cylon uh, all over things the like that, and you know, the Yanus, Yanus. Uh, okay, lots of missiles, lovely, but for its third day in a row, built a tissue paper. No relief from Colonial Fleet in sight. I don't think they're fake either. I just heard the Cat 5 Alpha Feed guy yelling about rocket damage to the Delphi Museum. They're retaliating. While we're stuck out here, they're pushing the fight back home. Where they have more than four-fifths of Colonial Fleet to protect them. They are not helpless, Silas, and we don't have anyone coming to rescue us. Cut radio receivers and engage the enemy, Commander. Clear this area completely of any Cylon presence. So there you have it. The Cylons have turned up. So we've got a base star and count them. Three, four, five, six, seven, and the base star. Eight Cylon ships. By your command. Indeed, by my command. So, here's the thing. How are we going to do this? Aim straight for the base star, I think, We're and hope for the best. We may lose one or two ships. Um, I'm quietly We're confident with the amount of battle stars that we've got going into this mission that it's not going to be quite the whitewash um, everyone would be expecting. I'm going to hold off on the missiles so I'm clear of that cloud. Got Focus you. cannons, send the yes, fighters man. ahead, you know the drill. I'm on it, Commander. Let's see how all this goes. Squadron on me. Okay. So, what's next? Wait for this turn left. to end and let the Cylons show their hand. Once we clear that dust, unload on the missiles, get the guns out, fire rockets, fire short range missiles or rockets from the assault raptors, and this will be it, job done. Funnily enough, I have found that the missions pre Ghost Fleet are harder. Missions, I think, four and five, really hard. The, the search and rescue for Jeriba, where you get to effectively rescue Adama and um, and Koka, Fastjevic, so say we all. that was really hard. Perhaps the hardest mission. These so far, I don't see these too much of an issue. Uh, and that's at commander difficulty. So, you know, normal difficulty, shall we say. If I am going to go through it all again, you know, as uh, Fleet Admiral, get the entire Battlestar Galactica experience. Now, the Fleet Admiral update is indeed a free update. Um, it's the ultimate challenge against Cylon Command, they say. You get updated officer pri profiles as well. So if you've got the game, you get the Fleet, Fleet Admiralty difficulty for free. Um, you've got the user interface enhancements, you know, more quality of life improvements to the user interface that include additional information tooltips, double click to select all ships of the same type, more squadron groups and more. Plus you get a cinematics browser, replay any intro or outro cinematic you've unlocked and select flagship. Select the ship in any campaign fleet you want as a flagship to get the most out of your officer bonuses. And of course, we all know about the new loading screens. And they're brilliant, I have to say. So, looks like we've got another base star. In fact, I probably think you've got the base star in the middle. And you've also got a few other base stars as well, given by their firing patterns. Revenants as well. Um, Got to make sure we don't collide or crash into anybody. Those mines are out there, the virus mines. Again, I'm crashing into something and I don't know what I'm crashing into. Must be one of those ships there. Yes, sir. Just rain a few ships Morning, back. We should be okay. Main thing though, take that base star out. Take out the Revenants, we've already taken out one Cylon Revenant. 
Uh, the defender's getting a bit of a paste in. In fact, it's gone. They hit it with a nuke by the look of it. Um, so we've lost that. We've taken out another Cylon ship. We're closing on that yes, base star. This might not be too bad as predicted. Let's swing the Galactica so around. Swing the minutes around the other side so we can focus fire on both sides of that that base star. And of course we've got an Artemis class, the Nimitz, coming up behind us. Okay. Got it. Right, following on. That ship's gone. We've made our adjustments. Targeted what we want to target. Be time to end turn. So do me a favour, hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already done so, and also that notification icon, because that'll let you know when I'm putting more Battlestar Galactica videos on YouTube. And it also means that I'm fresh in your mind as well, so you can look at some of the Battlestar Galactica Deadlock back catalogue games I've been playing. More torpedoes coming in, impacting on the side of the Galactica, along with what looks like to be a whopping great big barrage of missiles. We're tearing through the Cylon defences. That's going to be a base star up there, I bet you. Um, that base star there will finish off the main one with a Trophos on it. And uh, we will go straight ahead to the one that has not yet revealed itself. Okay, base star down. The other contact was not a base star, it's a... what is it? Those things are nasty. Really nasty. But we've got a Defender and we've got an Artemis over there. Plus, we can swing our other ships around as well. Perhaps engage Galactica directly at that. Argos-type uh, base stars. These are nasty ships. They can really spoil your day. Okay, let's get maneuvering and get our ships into the fight. We'll split our fleet down the middle. No, the bishop was a minotaur. Sorry, we've lost that one. That's okay. So make sure we've got all our planes in here so we can all make the strikes with, with missiles. Galactica taking some missile strikes to the front. No dramas though, because um, it's got the ammo to sustain that. And then once it's shot, it's going to be our turn because we'll reload our missiles um, and give it a good missile battery as well. So we're going to clean up some of the ships that are on their way and then focus on the Argos type base stars. Just targeting a Hydra that's behind all that base star wreckage. They're nasty little ships as yes, well. Sir. Yeah, definitely the way to ensure a win, I think. Going in there, Battlestar heavy, like we have. Our squadrons are mopping up some of the Raider squadrons as well, which is good. We'll try and get them to take out the ones that are trying to remote hack um, the Battlestars. So, you know, war driver squadrons. That's the Hydra down. Make sure our focus is all turned towards the Argos class base stars now. Get some subsystems fixed like the navigation. That war driver is hacking systems down. Yes, Commander. Okay. Up next, fire munitions. We are going to take those out. Hopefully as much as we possibly can. Do the defenders lost its raptors? No surprise there. What we have got back in, in area, we're going to have to move up so they can get their missiles in place. Also paint some targets.
Okay. Missiles going in towards the Argus. Its armour plating has been diminished quite a bit by the missile battery. Nukes are coming in. That looks a nasty weapon. Don't think the flak's going to catch that. It might, if we're lucky. More salvos being fired at the other Argus. Minotaur going to lash it with its guns as it gets close. Got it. So far, things are going pretty well. I'm quite surprised. Now, when you see eight Cylon ships jump into the system, you think, oh my god, what's going on here? I'm never going to get out of this. But I've still got quite a lot of planes in the air, so they can take out the war drivers and then bring them back. So fortunately, the Galacticus flak screen was able to take out uh, the nuclear missile. The Argos, its hull is in the red. Next round, that will be gone, so the Artemis, I think, will um, finish that off, no problem at all. Leaving us to get our ships to round on the remaining um, Cylon Argos ship and take that out. Firing on target. Okay. Now. That's it. Argos That's down. Right. Right. Missiles coming in from the other Argos against the Minotaur. We've taken it out. That's it. End of battle. Downgrade to condition two and prep for real and clean up. So they've stopped their blanket broadcasts that they were sending towards Caprica. You dare not They're trying to drop morale of the course. fleet, the ghost fleet. Your admiral can't protect you from treason charges. You can blame his political Lots of talk of mutiny. Death penalty. You'll face if you leave this post. Dreadus contact. A single raider bearing 147 Karam 062. Encrypted transmission incoming. Routing it straight to your CIC console, sir. Okay. So far, so good. Let's see what this message is. That's being sent directly to Silas Nash and his command console. But first, let's watch the full action replay. I'm not going to talk all the way through that. I need you to enjoy the cinematics of what happened in the last battle. Quite a victorious battle, I have to say. Um, not as hard as what I thought it was going to be, although I might have just gotten lucky, more than likely. I've been Ricardo. This has been Open rack, then engage. Mission 9 of Battlestar Galactica Deadlock Season 2. Second DLC, the Greatest Mark Attack, entitled Retaliation. Enjoy the cinematic. Well, thanks for watching. If you're still with me, uh, yes, like and subscribe. I'm good to go. And check back for more videos in this series. Only one more mission to go now. Hopefully, you'll all join me for that one. The links will be in the playlist. We're gonna hammer these frackers till they can't get back up. Optimizing firing solution. Target is 45 by 99. That's secondary battery. Full attack mode. Fire and roll. God damn it! It got you!
Backpacker, Seth Wright. Time to clean.